everyone and welcome back to my channel girl gone crypto today i am so excited to have ken melendez on we actually go way way back in the world of crypto and we'll, we'll touch on that in a second um, but he is the head of content for syndicators so ken thanks so much for coming on the show today thank you so much i'm super excited to be here so there are Photos of us together at crypto conferences, I would say in like 2018, um, but we first met in like 2017. Um, we we were both content creators on like Steam it way back in the day for those who remember that. Yeah. So it's it's pretty cool to be like, we're both still here, you know, we're both doing stuff. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I mean, those were really cool days to, you know, get get our feet wet in the mm -hmm. crypto industry. And it really helped us to, you know, get involved in the community, uh, meet new people, kind of expand our skill sets, uh, you know, with our, our writing and our video creation. So it was, it was a pretty huge step uh, to lead us to where we are now. 100%. Yeah, I look back on those days with just like so many good memories. Um, and so, um, but for today, what we're talking about, we are talking all about syndicator and stoic AI and trading. And like, we have a whole bunch of things we're going to discuss. So just to kick things off, why don't you go ahead and give us a high level overview of what syndicator is, and then we'll just kind of dive into it from there. Yeah, so Syndicator is a Web3 technology company, um, focuses around cryptocurrency and helping people to uh, build up their crypto portfolios and also kind of teach them, kind of educate them about the space in general. Um, so we've been around since 2015, and we've made a lot of progress since then. It's been roughly a little over seven years now, um, and it's just an excellent company, and we have a lot of things going for us, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So in terms of um, what it's like to to use Syndicator, let's say as a as a product. And so if I'm a user and I want to, you know, just kind of walk us through that user experience um, a little bit as well. Yeah, so we have uh, a couple of platforms that a user can jump onto. Um, one of them is our Syndicator app. So that's basically like our collective intelligence platform. So users can jump on there and they can pretty much uh, predict the market. So say um, we want to find out what Bitcoin, the price of Bitcoin is going to be in a week or, or maybe Ethereum, then users can jump on there and they can predict what the price is going to be. And then we can tell from there what the result is, how accurate they are. And the most accurate people, we call them super forecasters. Mm -hmm. So they get rewarded with uh, some cryptocurrency into their account. So it's pretty cool. Um, so that's the first way that a user can get involved. Um, the second is actually with Stoic AI. So that's an app that you can use either on the desktop or on your mobile device. And this is for crypto investors who are looking to build their portfolio, but they don't necessarily have a lot of time um, and they want to kind of get away from manual trading and they want to uh, move into automated uh, solutions. So that's where mm -hmm. Stoic comes in. And there's a few strategies that um, the app has inside that they can take advantage of. Yeah, let's dive a little more into Stoic AI, because I think that the intersection of AI and crypto is a really, really just interesting space right now. Like obviously with ChatGPT coming out, like everyone's talking about yeah. AI, you know, it's, it, it, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are wondering, Hey, um, AI has been useful in so many other areas. Is it something that could help make me, you know, a better crypto trader or, you know, help me in that sense. And so kind of walk us through a little bit of like how that really works and, and what you guys are uh, building over at Stoic. Yeah, so with Syndicator, um, I don't know if you know, but our name, uh, it, it, it's a combination of uh, of crowd and indicator. So like mm -hmm. we use the wisdom of the crowd to develop these predictive uh, learning mechanisms, if you will. So we use both, uh, you know, people who are giving their input and and actually helping to predict the market. And then we have the machine learning side, which machine learning is like a subset mm -hmm. of AI and so um, it's basically learning and it's taking the historical data uh, from these analysts and it's helping to pump out um, these predictions for uh, 
you know, that we use in Stoic AI. So it's, it's, it's kind of twofold there. So it's, it's a really cool hybrid model that we use. Um, and so it helps us to develop these really cool, uh, these really useful strategies uh, that we put inside of Stoic and it trades on people's behalf. So all someone has to do is sign up for the application, um, have some funds inside maybe their Binance account, and then uh, connect via our API, uh, the Binance API to the application. Mm -hmm. So it's a very simple uh, onboarding process that our users, users can take advantage of. Now, for those who um, maybe aren't familiar um, with how the kind of like API key integration works, can you walk us through that a little bit? And so, like you mentioned, like their funds are on Binance, the funds are being traded on Binance, but you yes. basically yes. someone's like giving permission to you guys to move their funds around. Kind of just like walk us through that a little bit again for someone that maybe isn't uh, familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, someone can either have just a, you know, their traditional Binance account um, or they can create a sub account on Binance as well, mm -hmm. um, which we act actually recommend creating a single sub account for each strategy that you use for Stoic AI because that way it's strictly you know, you're getting the results from that strategy just for that account. Yeah. Um, setting up an a API key is very simple. It's just a setting inside of your Binance account. And it's basically saying, Hey, I'm giving this application permission to trade, uh, mm -hmm. my assets on my behalf. So it's just pretty much a few clicks of the button and, and you've created your API key. And then from there, uh, you can just input that data into the application, into the Stoic app. And then it basically is a link. It just links up the app to your Binance account. And it makes it real simple. We also are, we're also working on developing um, just like a fast API integration. So mm -hmm. users don't have to go through as many steps uh, either. So always trying to make it even easier for people to onboard. Definitely. So one thing that I yeah. think is important that... Um, for people to think about, I always try to cover like risk management and security practices here on the channel. And so could you kind of walk us through a little bit of syndicators uh, approach to security? Because obviously, you know, recently in the news, there was, you know, uh, like the three commas API key, you know, was it hacked? What happened? Some, you know, things like that. And so what are some of the like maybe risks involved and like, how do you guys approach um, this, that from like a security standpoint? Yeah, security is, is, is extremely important to us. Um, like I mentioned, uh, we're, we're actually a Binance broker as well. So um, we're actually part of their uh, broker program. So they've actually vetted us and they've actually looked at our security measures and have, you know, basically said, okay, you guys are, are a okay uh, to, mm -hmm. you know, to integrate <laughs> with, with us. So uh, we only use like the very highest standards, just like uh, an exchange like that would use. Mm -hmm. Um and so we, yeah, we, we have a, a full fledged security team as well. That's constantly looking at all of our code, um, is making sure that everyone's staying safe, who uses the application. So again, um, you know, the app itself, it cannot make any withdrawals at all at any mm -hmm. point. So the user has to say, I want to withdraw funds from my account. So that's the only way that it can come out. So we're very conscious of that. We know there's mm -hmm. a lot of hackers that are out there. So we yep. want to keep all of our users extremely protected. Um, and we're very rigorous about that as well. So um, yeah, we take security extremely seriously. So the team behind Syndicator um, was is actually the team of Syndicator Capital. And I know on the um, website, you guys talk about having a hedge fund advantage. And can you kind of walk us through what exactly that means and how the team from Syndicator Capital kind of brought that experience to build Syndicator and, and what that kind of means and looks like? Yeah. Um, so our team is very diverse. We have people, you know, in the, from the finance industry, from marketing, from HR, um, and there's people that have hedge fund experience as well. So it's kind of taking all of those uh, different industries and kind of combining them uh, into our company. So, um, you know, that part is is a big part for us, and we don't take that lightly at all. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's 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 definitely an advantage to use uh, the people who have experience in that area of finance and bring it into uh, into this company to help our users out. It's important. 
So I think that it'd be kind of fun to have a little like, or helpful to have a discussion around just general kind of like trading practices, if you will, because I, I think that a, a little bit of a misconception with some uh, trading tools and AI, you know, supported tools and things like that are that, oh, I can just plug this in and suddenly I'm going to make all this money, you know, and it, it's, it, there is, <laughs> you know, there's still things to consider in terms of like mindset and practices and what you're doing and FOMO and like all of these things, like, can you kind of yeah. just, you know, I think that that would be important in this setting to discuss. And so can you kind of walk us through a little bit of some like kind of best practices for people that maybe I would say are like on the lower experience level um, that are wanting to integrate, you know, um, an AI tool strategy, um, but how they should maybe think about that and approach that. Yeah. So, you know, there's a big difference between like manual trading, which is AKA day trading, you know, mm -hmm. and automated crypto solutions, you know, um, on the manual trading side, it's, a lot of looking at charts all the time. You're constantly checking prices. You're basically spending your entire day just, you know, mm -hmm. on the computer, or on your phone. Uh, and it's very, very time consuming. And so yeah. what we want to do is kind of eliminate that, uh, you know, off of people's tables, you know, and kind of free up their time. And also, um, again, you mentioned FUD and, and FOMO. <laughs> um, when your portfolio is automated, and your hands aren't constantly in it, um, those feelings of FOMO and FUD, you know, kind of, they, they dissipate because mm -hmm. you're not constantly, it's not all, it's not up to you to make the trades, right? right? So you basically set up your account and it's, it's done for you. So you're trusting these uh, strategies that have been put together by, you know, our quant team, our dev team. Uh, this one strategy that we just recently released called Meta has been in development for five years. Wow. So that's quite a long time uh, to, to test, to integrate, to roll out. I mean, it's, it was a, a, a really big accomplishment for us to release that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's important of course, we want people to learn trading for themselves, mm -hmm. but for the people who just, you know, they have a day job, they have a family, um, they have other things on their plate that they want to do. Um, we want to eliminate the, you know, the time constraint and, and allow people to kind of get their lives back and, and, and allow <laughs> the, the algorithm to do the trading for them 24 seven. So tell us a little bit more about Meta and um, what all that does, what that trading strategy looks like. Five years is a long time to be working on something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Meta is, it, it's a powerhouse. Um, five years in development. Yeah, it. Um, so it basically, there's over 200 uh, strategies that are actually involved in this one single strategy. Mm -hmm. And it generally picks around 12 to use at a time. And what this does is it allows uh, it allows the app to kind of take advantages of the ups and downs in the crypto market, you know, because mm -hmm. there's constantly, uh, you know, uptrends and, 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 and there, there's, it's all there is up and you're, down you're, right? <laughs> up and, it's like, a, it's like a roller coaster. It's constantly yeah. going up and down. So uh, um, meta, basically capitalizes on those inefficiencies in the market and it allows uh you know earnings to to be to be gained even even in like a bear market of last year i mean it, it was mm -hmm. a pretty bad year for crypto last year let's be honest um with different things in the news happening you know mm -hmm. that didn't help bring the price down or that helped yeah. bring the price down <laughs> a lot of assets out there um but meta was constantly outperforming bitcoin outperforming ethereum so mm -hmm. like the top 20 30 coin even more it was performing like the top 200 uh coins it was outperforming those um, so it's a powerhouse, uh, again, it's gonna, it's actually gonna be in the app very soon. We're, we're working on that right now. We had the soft launch in December. Um, so that is a, a huge accomplishment for our company. And we, we were, ex we were very excited to roll it out to our users and, um, allow them to participate in it. So obviously, you know, you just mentioned Meta is like a huge thing that the team is focused on and working on right now. But um, what else yep. is kind of coming down the pipeline for Syndicator? What's the team excited about? What can people just kind of expect to see next from you guys? Yeah, like right now we're 
we're working on the back end uh, of the algorithms themselves to kind of make them even better, mm -hmm. to kind of fine tuning them to to help them to get even better results for our users' portfolios. So we're constantly working on that. Uh, we are also looking at expanding beyond Binance and looking at other mm -hmm. exchanges that will uh, also integrate with Stoic. So um, we want to expand, uh, you know, the amount of users uh, throughout the globe who can use our product. So we're we're in the works right now of doing that and uh, and moving forward on that regard. So, um, yep, just released Meta, and we are <laughs> currently in the process of onboarding uh, people to that. So uh, super exciting. So Ken, if someone is watching this interview and they want to check Syndicator out, check out Stoke AI, like learn more about you guys, uh, where's the next best place for them to go? Yeah, so there's a couple websites that they can go. One is syndicator.com, which is our company website. And then our product website is stoic.ai. So those are two places that they can check out for um, more information about our company and about our products. Awesome. Well, Ken, thank you so much for taking the time to come on the show today. It's always great to see you. Um, and I just, uh, yeah, thanks so much for coming on. It's been really a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much for having me on.